All right, so if you have clicked on this video, you are most likely looking to create a login form uh, using C++. So that is uh, a good first step. You've clicked the right video. This is gonna be nice and simple. Uh, nothing too crazy, probably one of the easiest versions of a uh, registration or login form that you can uh, come up with. So I'm just showing you the code here. This is how it works. I've got a terminal open and I've uh, compiled and run the code. We're just going to register a user, for example. So we put one in the uh, choice section there and we select a username. We're just going with Patrick for this one. And we're also gonna select a password, just simple 111. And we're gonna get a message here that gets output. It says, welcome Patrick. And we're also gonna see here a file gets created called patrick.txt. So that's just a normal text file and it stores the username and the password underneath. Kind of just like uh, you would store a user in the database of um, you know a larger program. And now this time we're going to run the program again and we're going to do the second option, uh, number two for login. And we're just going to get prompted here to enter a username, so Patrick, and then enter the password 111 and you'll see that we get a message that says successfully logged in, welcome back, and the dashboard is displayed. And now um, it's given us another choice. We can either sign out or go back to the main menu. So for this one, we've just done, uh, we'll press two to go back to the main menu and we'll just do another example now. Let's say we wanna log in again, but we're gonna do something different. We're actually going to put in a different name, so Emily, um, and we'll just do a random password, triple two. And we're actually gonna get a invalid login message here. Now that is because Emily does not exist in this database. So the user does not exist. We haven't created a file that says emily.txt. Then we are just going to try to register another user now. Say we'll select Carl and make the password 222. You'll see that carl.txt is created, storing the username and the password. So that's pretty much how it works. And if you want to, if we run it again here, you'll see that we log in with Carl and triple two and we'll get a welcome back message and the user dashboard pops up again with the option to sign out or go back to the main menu. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm just going to get started with the code now. So you're going to want to create a folder and call it login and then just create a uh, main.cpp file within that folder. And yeah, let's get right into it.
All right, guys, so that is it. You are finished. Uh, you can go and try that program out for yourself now. There is also the source code down below in the description. If you do have any errors in your program while watching this video, make sure to just go check out the source code and uh, fix uh, any errors uh, or warnings that you may have. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please consider smashing that like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. It helps me a lot, uh, you know, when I'm making videos for you guys. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them below as well. And if you need help with the code, feel free to comment and I will be here to help you out. So yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.